So we're finally back in Norway and unfortunately I had to drop uh, Alex off at the airport right after landing. He just changed something in his bag and uh, now he's on the way to Munich to go and host a wind tunnel camp. So because of that I'm uh, left alone but the good news is, is that the weather is supposed to be super good the next few days and I'm gonna go now and pick up my good friend uh, John actually one of the guys you saw in the episode 4 when we were flying the wind tunnel here in Oslo and uh, we're gonna bring him to Ramsdal he doesn't know it yet but we're gonna try and do uh, first some Skada warm-ups in Voss and then we're gonna go straight up to Ramsdal and he's gonna do his first base jump Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, so big. Oh, so How are you, bro? Pretty good. You're stoked? Yes. You're stoked about this trip? This is like uh, quite uh, spontaneous. Yes. But it's uh, fucking awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be epic, bro. It, it's gonna be so epic. I'm gonna bring this inside. Yeah, do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be like uh, another, uh, yeah, another uh, epic day, or actually um, another epic adventure. Is, yeah. Um, epic like now it's now I'm in kind of like a surreal mode. I don't know, but uh, I kind of don't believe. Like I don't believe anything is happening until the moment when we're there and it's happening. Yeah. You no, know I mean? uh, but it's gonna be epic. We're gonna start yeah. with the skydiving first. Yeah. Let's do that and then go from there. this place is the fact that we can park anywhere we want and we can sleep and do whatever we want anywhere and right now as you can see right here we're in this on the top of the mountain we have to stop a little bit to cook some food unfortunately we had the quinoa pretty much flying around so like the plants are fighting back right oh yes oh, now we're gonna cruise we're gonna make some little vegan delights oh yeah just Ooh. Cutting some vegetables here. I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah, I like cutting stuff. I can show you this little house here. So you see how cozy we have it. It's a little cozy. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. But tonight I'm only stuck with uh, with Pablo over here. So <laughs> I'm gonna put him. Actually, he goes up here. So here comes his bed. That's his favorite bed. This one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, wow, bro. This one is good. You're gonna love this one. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is it now? <laughs> yes. Super. That's your work, though. It's pretty good. Then we got this guy. Super good as well. Mmm. All right, bro, dig in. Yeah, guys, welcome to Skada Voss. It's time to have some fun and to do a little bit of training. Maybe get uh, John ready to do some tracking with his um, with his tracking suits, and hopefully, uh, yeah, get him ready to do his first base jump. Huh? Are you ready? Yes, I'm super ready. Super ready. <laughs> So I'm here with my good friend uh, Birmangne Brian. Actually, Birmangne he is um, the team captain on Team One Call, which is actually uh, the team in Norway that does the raddest, most visually pleasant-looking and most incredible uh, flying stunts. And uh, yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys did this summer? Well, uh, we uh, did a lot of uh, speed riding down in uh, Eidfjord. We uh, explored some new lines. Uh, we did some rad shit in Gudvangen with some base jumping, some uh, XRW in Indredal, and uh, yeah, so 
pretty happy with the with the summer so far. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, as you can see on the shots, it's pretty insane. And uh, I wish more of the guys would be here right now. Actually, everyone is has left. Huh? It's only you. You left. But we can jump. Yes, I would love to actually <laughs> do a jump with you. I want to do one of those. Um, XRW. XRWs, now that I have a new suit, it will Let's be super it. nice. This guy, the weirdest guy of them all. I got, I got a flask now. <laughs> peaches. I love to eat peaches. Yeah, I told uh, Evan here, Evan, he is uh, the black uh, raven as we call him here in Norway. <laughs> He's completely... <laughs> Like, yeah, you're completely out of it, but an amazing human. Peaches. Yeah. I love to eat peaches. Yeah, yeah good. Because I told, I told him to go and buy me some peaches, and he did, he did, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, my love. Oh, I love this guy. And now we got um, John here, he's uh, checking his gear. Aren't you, John? Oh, yes. Yeah, you don't Get trust it. me, huh? Do you? Because <laughs> yeah. I had to do that for you. <laughs> yeah. But it's good that you double check because if you think about it, um, it's pretty important. You know, on base canopies, we don't have a reserve parachute. We don't need it because we do pack it like a reserve. And uh, right now, uh, you see how um, he's doing it in a yeah, good way. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing wonderfully. How are you? Super good. Okay, um, awesome. I can't wait to go adventure with you a little bit. Yeah, we have to go on an adventure. Obviously, this is a it's a given. It's going to happen. So Makumba here. He is uh, one of the most special guys here on the drop zone. Maybe even one of the most special guys in the whole skydiving community. In a very good way though, because he is... Um, Thanks, I was about to say, he, special. Yeah, yeah, he is uh, pretty much a nomad living the dream in Tenerife and South Africa, right? Yep. And you're traveling the world with your beautiful daughter and your other kid who is climbing around somewhere. In the bun. <laughs> and uh, these guys are actually uh, the most like if you see, if you see their kids playing and how the the kids are interacting and learning and how they live as a family, it's super super inspiring actually because these kids are so happy and genuine and very social and they're very outgoing in the sense of like they're actually constantly running around free, playing in the forest, playing in the woods, whatever they want to do. And uh, it really shows that um, these kids are, are one of a kind, no? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Makumba's pizzas! Who's your mama's The world's pizzas? most favorite, actually the world's most famous pizza, uh -huh. right? Not only a favorite, but the most famous. I mean, Makumba's pizza, it's a... Uh, it actually makes better pizzas than Italians. <laughs> I know Max Heim is going to be really grumpy when he sees that, but uh, if you could have the chance to taste these, you'll be super happy. So that's pretty much what Moncumbo does. He works here all summer, su summer season long, creates so many good pizzas so he can live the whole winter free from hassle, free from stress with his beautiful family, surfing the best waves of the planet and enjoying life to the fullest. So I was lucky to uh, bump into my good old friend Richard Henriksen, or Dr. Henriksen as we call him. He's actually one of the most incredible surgeons on the planet, no? <laughs> like that's, if you if that, you get super smashed, <laughs> if you get super smashed, this is the guy to uh, to Cut make. you open, yeah, <laughs> and fix you. Yeah. <laughs> now now we're ready. Yeah. We look perfect. Uh, we're, we're like red skittles. And blue. Yeah, we're like skittles. <laughs> All the one we're missing out is green and yellow and. 
Yeah. yeah. But it's going to be a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good conditions up there yeah. and uh nice conditions. And uh, he's like uh he's like doing surgery also in free fall. So it's perfect. <laughs> Tour to Voss just to do a couple of jumps and to visit a dear friend of mine. And uh, now we're actually doing the same type of drive all the way to Romsdal. So it's a little bit of a detour, but it was worth it because I really need to uh, feel that suit a little better before throwing myself off a cliff with it. We did a 13 way. 13 uh, way? Huh? Yeah, so we did two groups and one, so we flew together and then one group flew over the other. Oh, nice. So nice. yeah, so it's good. I, my die was a little bit uh, too aggressive, so I kind of had to put on full brakes after the dive, which was uh, yeah, it was good. But uh, next time maybe not so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. We all we we can all be a little bit too aggressive in the free fall sometimes. But yeah, now we got about a seven-hour drive. We're probably gonna find a nice place to sleep and eat dinner on the way. Just chill in the car and uh, yeah, well, let's see. Maybe we find a place in the middle of nowhere. Most likely we're not gonna focus on filming that. We're just gonna cut straight to the good times tomorrow and to the beautiful Romsdal, which I know you guys are gonna love. That place is special. 